Hello everyone, this is Art Gear here in Mongolia, and we want to talk about the best things in Mongolian culture, history, people, and everything in between. And here is our top 10 most popular Mongolian foods and drinks. Number 10, Bortsuk. Bortsuk is a type of fried dough food found in the cuisines of Central Asia, in the Middle East, and of course Mongolia. Now what does it taste like? Crunchy and crusty. These are a hot favorite among both children and adults. The dough consists of flour, yeast, milk, eggs, margarine, salt, sugar, and fat. Bortsuk is often eaten as a dessert with sugar, butter, or yogurt, which is actually really good. Now, they may be thought of as cookies or biscuits, and since they're fried, they're often compared to donuts. Mongolians and other Turgic people sometimes dip Bortsuk in a tea. Dough for Bortsuk ranges in ingredients from a simple dough to a sweeter, crispier dough. Bortsuk is made by cutting the flattened dough into pieces. While not usually done in Central Asia, these pieces may be bent and knotted into various shapes before being deep fried. This is especially common amongst Mongolians. The dough is deep fried golden brown. Mutton fat is traditionally used by Mongolians to give the Bortsuk extra flavor, but it may be substituted by vegetable oil. Number 9. Gurote Shul or Noodle Soup This traditional dish is basically mutton soup or stock served with noodles and veggies. The authentic recipe calls for fatty meat, though loin meat can also be used. The acidity of the soup, often prepared with curd made from yak's milk, and the rawness of the mutton makes it a very interesting dish. The soup is very organic, which includes noodles, obviously, wild or green onions, a pinch of salt, and either mutton or beef. In some places, curds such as arol, esge, and cheese are added to the soup. The Mongolian climate is harsh and continental, so that people survive by eating this noodle soup with fresh mutton. The soup is believed to be extremely healthy and is traditionally given to women after they have given birth. Number 8. Toivan. Noodles cooked with pork, beef, or mutton, and a dash of cabbage, onion, and carrots. Toivan. The meatiness of the stew blends in with the unhampered flavor of the vegetables to create a unique taste. It is said that Soivan originated from Chinese cuisine. Now, considering that a bunch of noodle dishes originated from there, it's probably true. Many different noodle hurga in Asian countries, Soivan is pretty similar to them, but this one has its own deliciously unique taste. Soivan is initially fried and the noodles are then steamed in the same pot. Now, I know that sounds kind of funny, but it works. Different types of Soivan include those with vegetables, innards, ribs, and tail fat. Soivan is one of the most popular foods for Mongolian men and even tourists, and is served in restaurants daily. Number 7. Boats. Boats is the main food of the Mongolian Lunar New Year, Tagansar. People can eat it every day as well. It is also said that it is originated from China, and it's basically a dumpling. You can see boats everywhere in China, and here in Mongolia, boats are filled with minced mutton or beef, which is flavored with onion and or garlic and salted. Occasionally, they're flavored with sprouted fennel seeds and other seasonal herbs. Potatoes or other vegetable salads are often served with boats. Minced cabbage also is added to the boats. And innards are really great ingredients for boats. It's really delicious. Every family usually has a type of boats eating competition, which you can easily participate in. Number 6. Bodak. This is Mongolia's version of a barbecue where instead the meat is cooked from the inside to the outside of the goat, or marmot, using hot stones. Boda is a typical meal for groups of people and is a very popular staple to enjoy when camping or doing some other outdoor activity. When the cooking is done, the stones are then given out which are then used to rub between each person's palms. It is believed that this ritual will boost stamina and eliminate fatigue. Making boda is a lengthy process. It takes up a whole day. But the most difficult thing about preparing boda is cutting the animal and taking out chunks from its skin without puncturing it. So it's not like you can throw some hot stones at it and call it a day. You need a professional. If you come to a bigger celebration, you'll most likely have your chance to eat boda. Number 5. Horhuk. Horhuk is a barbecue dish in Mongolian cuisine. Horhug is made by cooking pieces of meat inside a container which also contains hot stones and water and is often also heated from the outside. The heat of the stones and the steam will cook the meat inside the jug. The cook then hands out portions of meat along with the hot stones, similarly to boda, where the stones are then given out which are then used to rub between each person's palms. Horhug is a popular dish in the Mongolian countryside, but is usually not served in restaurants. Personally. I was invited to a friend's place and he decided to get his family together and make this for me. Obviously, you all need to make friends and hopefully they'll decide to make this for you too. 
Number 4. Tsagan Ide. Dairy products in Mongolia vary greatly in terms of their taste, and these products are called Tsagan Ide and include a lot of milk. The inclusion of milk denotes purity, kindness, and unselfishness. Other ingredients include aro, dry curd, and urum, thick cream, Mongolian butter, and kefir, or soft yogurt. It is believed by experts that this food item is the reason behind the strong teeth of Mongolian people. It is curdled milk that is dehydrated and dried. And the great thing about this food item is that it never goes bad. Never. Dairy products are prepared from the milk of cow, sheep, goat, yak, and camel. Nomads eat meat during the winter and then eat dairy products during the summer. And that is the common knowledge of leading a healthy life in Mongolia. Number 3. Sutetsai. This is THE traditional Mongolian milk tea. It is made by pouring cold water into a kettle, a pinch of salt, crushed green tea, milk, and then is brought to a boil. Yes, I said salt. Once the tea is boiled, the mixture is put through a tea strainer to remove the crushed tea. Milk tea has many different tastes, depending on the province you're visiting. Some people prefer to drink sutetsai with a bit more salt, and others prefer to drink it with less salt. Milk tea is served with many meals and snacks in Mongolia. Mongolians eat dumplings, rice, and borts dried meat in their milk tea. The tea is very nutritious and has a healing effect especially for relieving stress and headaches. There are also instant milk tea packets in virtually every supermarket. And yes, salt. Number 2. Holsher. Holsher is a kind of meat pastry or dumpling popular in Mongolia, similar to Russian and other cuisines chibureki. There are actually two types of holsher the homemade normal one, and the circle one. I personally think it's like an empanada, or you know, a meat pancake. Anyways, the meat, either beef or mutton, is ground up and mixed with onions and or garlic, salt, and other spices. The cook then rolls the dough in a circles, then places the meat inside the dough, then folds the dough in half, creating a flat, half circular pocket. After making the pockets, the cook fries them in oil until the dough turns into a golden brown. The holster is similar to boats in that the meat is prepared in the same way and cooked in a dough pocket, the principal difference being that boats is steamed instead of fried. Some Mongolians hold a fresh holster between their palms and also with the tips of all fingers to stimulate the nerves and blood circulation in the hands. Number 1. Erek the national drink of Mongolia. This is primarily made during the summers in Mongolia, especially in the rural regions. Erug is fermented horse milk, one of the best drinks in Mongolia. The drink is also commonly served during weddings, festivals, and other special events. Erug has an alcohol content of about 7% and should be consumed with caution. But despite that, some Mongolian people are known to consume about 3 liters in one go. The tastiest versions of this drink originate from Arhangai, Bulgan, and Overhangai provinces. It improves pathogenic microbes in your body and ensures good health if consumed in moderation. <clears throat> Three liters in one go. Mongolians usually travel a lot in summer and play Erug drinking games such as Dembe, where the players sing and guess each other's total numbers of fingers played. I can't fully describe, but it looks really cool. Without Erug, we cannot imagine the traditional Mongolian culture today. So that was our top 10 most popular Mongolian foods and drinks. Think something else should be in here than one of the others? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll catch you all later.